First, China and India should be partners rather than rivals. China and India need to build trust rather than suspicion. Second, China and India need peace rather than confrontation. China has all along advocated that peace is of paramount importance. We are neither a warlike state nor an assertive country. We should seek common development as partners rather than opponents or adversaries. That was China's ambassador to India, Sun Wei Dong. Can you believe he said what he did? He says China is not an assertive country. India and China should be partners. They should choose peace, not confrontation. Build trust and dump suspicion. And he did say those things, yes. But then he said it in the past. The dragon and the elephant can dance together and what have you. China's actions speak much louder than its words, though. It is the opposite of a peace-loving country. It has triggered territorial disputes in six regions, tried to infiltrate into India. This is all a matter of record, so we won't repeat what you already know. Tonight, let's talk about what you may not have heard of. China is arming terrorist groups. Chinese citizens are funding them, and it's all happening in India's neighborhood. This is our cover story tonight. Let me begin with Myanmar. China has close ties with Myanmar, too close for comfort now. So far, China has been indispensable to all political entities in Myanmar and to the military, the Tatma Do, as they're called. But in recent years, China has tried to tighten its grip and Myanmar has resisted. So China began arming terrorist groups, even making ways for them to generate funds for their operations. There is evidence to show that three armed groups, three groups have received China's backing. And we have these three names, the United Wa State Army, the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army, and the Arakan Army. China is supporting rebel groups in Myanmar, militias who threaten the stability of the government in Naypyidaw, the capital of Myanmar. The support was initially covert. But a few years ago, everything came out in the open. China was courting Myanmar at the same time supplying the, those, these rebels with guns and cash. China has backed the United Wa State Army or the UWSA. This is the largest ethnic armed group in Myanmar. It has received Chinese money as well as gunships. In 2013, the UWSA took delivery of Chinese military helicopters. Helicopters, they were armed with air-to-air -air missiles. What happens when you arm such rebel groups? They pose a direct challenge to the country's military. More recently, a Chinese businessman single-handedly ensured $1.5 billion in funding to this very same group, the UWSA. What's more shocking is that all of this cash was stolen from the Chinese people. Meet Ding Nin, the financier of the UWSA and the mastermind of China's biggest Ponzi scheme. Ding Ning was the chairman of Izubo. It was a Chinese online finance company, a company that offered fake investment products to around 1 million investors. It stole $7 billion from these investors. And out of these 7 billion, 1.5 billion was sent to this group in Myanmar, the UWSA. Even Chinese state-owned banks have helped rebel groups in Myanmar. The Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army was able to complete a crowdfunding operation thanks to China. The money was raised for military activities against Myanmar's government. First, the group made a WeChat account, and by the way, it was a verified account. Then it asked for donations from Chinese citizens. This is a rebel group. Tech giants like WeChat Pay and Alipay enabled it. The armed group was able to raise more than $500,000 between 2015 and 2017, and these donations were held at Chinese banks. It included state-owned lender AG Bank. When the truth came out, China suspended the account, but the damage was done. The threat is clear and present. China is backing rebel groups and terrorists in Myanmar. China's actions could destabilize an entire country. So the military is now directly naming and shaming China.
the military of Myanmar. Last month, a spokesperson of Myanmar's military had revealed that China is arming the Arakan army. This is an insurgent group, a group that has attacked Myanmar's military in 2019. Another group, the Tang National Liberation Army, was caught with Chinese weapons. I'm not talking about pistols here. Myanmar's military seized sophisticated weapons from these groups, like RPGs and anti-aircraft launchers, weapons that reportedly can cost up to $90,000. The Arakan army has been declared a terrorist organization by Myanmar. China is using these terror groups as bargaining chips just to ensure that Myanmar remains trapped in the Belt and Road project. China's actions pose a direct threat to Myanmar and to India's interests in Myanmar.